Yellow, I'm Dallas, and these are some brand new structure decks. Brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Charmers, and brand new Pokemon Vivid Voltage structure deck. I'm gonna show you in today's video what I do with structure decks when I bring them home. It's gonna be pretty cool, so stick around. Today is the release day for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Charmer structure deck. And it's one I'm actually pretty excited about. It's got some pretty cool cards in it. So let's go in this Walmart and see if it's here. Here is the card aisle. Is it gonna be here? Oh wow, it actually is. I'm actually properly surprised. Let's get it. Let's see what else there is. Whoa, that's the first time I've seen a Vivid Voltage box at all. They're all gone. You know what, I might just get the Vivid Voltage starter structure deck too. So here's what I've got. This box right here is my collection so far of starter slash structure decks from several different card games. And I've had a goal for quite some time to amass a rather large collection of starter decks and structure decks and keep them preserved just the way they were built. Now this is, this is interesting for some people because a lot of the times when people buy structure decks it's for one of two reasons really. Uh, well I guess one of three. The biggest reason these days is like the newest Vivid Voltage Pokemon structure decks. I think there's this one, uh, which is Dreadnaw, and then the other one's a Charizard. So everyone's buying up the Charizard ones just to collect the Charizard. Um, the second reason is if you do play sometimes people with structure decks, this is more so a Yu-Gi-Oh thing than Pokemon, though it does happen here too, with um, Yu-Gi-Oh structure decks, people will buy three structure decks to get three versions of every card in it and then build a better version of the deck than the one that comes in the box so you can have multiples of some of the good stuff. Uh, that happens a lot with structure decks. Uh, the third reason then of course is probably what they're actually meant for. If you take your kids to Walmart and they want to try to play Pokemon for the first time, you're going to buy them one of these. You're not going to buy them a bunch of packs. They're gonna, you're going to buy them a deck that's ready to go. Um, but the reason that I buy them is more close to the third reason, though a lot of people, if they buy this to actually play with, they'll take it home and they'll change a few things. Well, here's why I want a bunch of structure decks. Hannah and I love to play card games. I'm, I don't dislike board games or anything, but I, I've never been much of a board game person, which she kind of grew up to be. You know, her family would always go get a board game off the shelf and play together after dinner or something, which is really cool. Um, so we kind of do that, Hannah and I, but with card games. We come to this box right here, sometimes after we eat, sometimes late at night, we don't feel like going to bed yet, and we grab a couple decks from a game and we play. And so there are card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! here where I have built my own deck. This is my personal deck, which I've built, you know, from to play in a play style that I like. So there, there's, you know, that's completely custom. But the rest of this stuff in this box are starter decks from card games like here you go this is from dragon ball super and i only have two starter decks so we can only play this with these two decks i haven't bought more yet um but if we just feel like playing this we can walk in the room grab these decks and play there's a couple pokemon starter decks in here so we can do the same thing there and so the idea with keeping starter and structure decks like these the way they are is that we kind of have an infinite number of games we can play. Imagine how boring it would get if Hannah and I just played the same Pokemon deck every single night for months on end. We'd get tired of it very quick. But uh, this way, we can play 10 rounds, ideally, if I have more decks than I do now. We could play 10 rounds and play a different deck every time and really kind of keep it fresh if we wanted to. Uh, and that's why I'm currently collecting a lot of structure decks, just so we can have, just like some of you might have a game room with a closet full of board games, I kind of want to have a game room with a closet full of card games to play. And of course, amongst all these card games, I, I want to build custom stuff too, but that's not what today's video is about. So let's take these structure decks that I came home with and let me show you what I kind of like to do with them. Some of it's obvious, some of it's not. Um, I want to start with the Yu-Gi-Oh! structure deck. Um, I want to get it in sleeves, which I'll do real quick, but I also want to decorate the deck box that it's going into. You'll notice, really, the only deck boxes here that are decorated currently, I'm ashamed to say, are these Dragon Ball Super ones, but I'm only about a month and a half into this, so 
you can forgive me for not having decorated the rest yet, but we're going to decorate today's boxes. I'm going to try something a little different. As you see here, these, these are custom stickers I made, and honestly, this is probably what I should keep doing, because this is much cleaner, but it's kind of also a waste of time and money being as all these structure decks always come in their own boxes and they all have printing on them themselves so once i get this deck sleeved i'm going to try something new and i'm going to actually try to recycle this artwork onto the deck box and see if i can live with that or not man this is awesome i think this might actually be the first structure deck that i've opened quite some time like proper original form factor structure deck look at this playing mat Ooh, that's beautiful that's beautiful this is a this is a pretty popular deck right now a lot of people were excited for it to come out and uh, there's a couple cards in here that are um, first time variants and stuff it's all really cool it always amazes me how small a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is but my excitement about this is just something new for Hannah and I to play. So let me get this bad boy open. We'll take a shuffle through the cards. And we'll get them sleeved up. This is not easy to do. Here we go. Now I'm in. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. First up, a token. Familiar Possessed Asa. <laughs> Pretty crazy looking dragon. The name, the title on this card is really long. What does that say? Awakening of the Possessed Greater Inari Fire. There's a lot, there's a whole lot of hollows in here. Uh, Grand Spiritual Art Spirit Charmers, which is the name of this deck, Yu Gi Oh! Spirit Charmers. Let's read what that card does. Discard one card, take two from your deck with different names. Uh, from each other that are charmer monsters. Uh, add one of them to your hand and set the other. You can only activate spirit charmers once per turn. That's beautiful. And then a hollow regeki, which is an OG card, a possessed partnership. And then here's the rest of the cards. And of course, a whole lot of these cards have charmers in the name. And there's a uh, there's a whole lot of strategies to summon those monsters. So that's kind of the fun thing about bringing home a brand new structure deck like this we get to try some new strategies with charmers which i've never played before so i'm going to go ahead and get these sleeved So here you go, a brand new freshly sleeved structure deck, white sleeves, white deck box. I hope you've noticed by now that uh, I'm kind of trying to theme things here, you know. Uh, my hope is that if I try to decorate the deck box to resemble in some way the original artwork, the original box, that my brain will be able to keep up with a lot more decks in the future than than maybe I would if they were just all blank boxes with marker written on them. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do here. And, and the, other, the reason I'm gonna cut this box up and decorate the box with these pieces rather than print these stickers, which are arguably better, is because, well, you see here all these other decks that aren't decorated, aren't labeled. Well, that's because it's time consuming to make these stickers. So I kind of figure if I just start doing it this way, I can get it done as soon as I bring it home. I don't have to get out the printer. I don't have to get out the cutter, anything. So that's the hope. Now, let's just mutilate this box real quick. Make sure I go wide so I don't cut too much. I'm really curious how this is going to look. I hope it doesn't turn into too much of a mess, because if it gets too messy, well, I don't want my deck boxes to be too much of a mess either. So, let's just pick some lines here and cut them. There we go. So... I'm just going to glue this bad boy on here. One could double-sided tape it if they wanted to, but I'm going to try to actually give this some permanence. My hope is to 
own this structure deck for the rest of my life, right? I, I don't really need this to come off. And not to mention these deck boxes are rather inexpensive. A couple bucks a piece if you know where to buy them. So let me get my safety paper out here. And normally when using spray glue like I'm about to use, you would want to apply some glue to the surface you're gluing and the back of it. But I don't want to spray that with glue. So we're just going to put some glue on the back of uh, this right here. Give it a second. Let it tack up. Get rid of the safety paper. And then it should be as simple as... Put it down, there you go. Now I'm just gonna let that dry, and I have my own Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck. Spirit Charmers. And that glue is pretty good glue, so that'll hold a good, a good little while. I don't expect that to come off at all. One more step I'm gonna take real quick. I just realized in the Yu-Gi-Oh! set there's a card that has the artwork on it. So why not just attach it to this box? Now, it's not gonna fit right on the back because the folding of the box will bend it but there's kind of a bottom half here that I don't need so I'm gonna cut that off right below the artwork and now that should actually fit right there now I know what the artwork looks like <laughs> pretty happy about that all right here we go perfect now there's no question there you go. And now, I'm gonna do this to my brand new Vivid Voltage deck as well. Um, I'm very excited to get my hands on the other one with the Charizard, uh, but of course all of my Walmarts are out of them completely. Luckily, some of the Vivid Voltage stuff is not proven to be as hard to get your hands on as the last couple exp uh, Pokemon expansions were. But, how do you open this bad boy? That doesn't, that doesn't mean that the uh, Charizard's not going to be impossible to get my hands on. Anything Charizard's impossible to get your hands on. I'm going to have to make a hard choice now. This is really tough. Do I just want to put Dreadnought theme deck? Do I want to cut that out and put Dreadnought theme deck on top? Or do I also want to put Vivid Voltage? And this is the beauty of these stickers when I make these. I can make it whatever size I want and put all the information on them I need. Um... When it comes to Pokemon Structure Decks, every single time that a new expansion is released, they also release a couple theme decks built from said expansions. So when I go in here to dig some cards out, I'm going to want to know this is from Vivid Voltage, not just that it's a Dreadnought theme deck. So I have to get both Vivid Voltage on here as well as Dreadnought theme deck. So how do I do that? The smallest vivid voltage tab I'm seeing is right there hmm this is what I get for trying to do the least amount of work do I want to cut that up that's pretty small but regardless of how small they are are they gonna fit both fit on top I'm gonna to go ahead and start by cutting this out right here see how mad my scissors get at me these are very powerful scissors <laughs> they're not mad about cutting anything all right and I'm gonna cut this probably as small as I can because I don't want to get too crazy taking up space did not cut that very straight but dread and all I don't care about cutting the checklist up the checklists that come in elite boxes are much preferable much more preferable anyways just wish I could cut straight lines. So let's get to gluing. Dreadnought, Vivid Voltage. Let's try not to make a mess of this. All right. Blue deck box. Now I gotta, what do I want on top? What do I want? I think I'm gonna cover up the Ultra Pro with the Dreadnought. Should have cut this. Dreadnought, boom. 
All right, vivid voltage. There you go. Not the, not quite as pretty as it could be, because you know that's that's pretty clean. That's not quite so much, but it is useful. It is still very very useful. And there you go. Now I have two brand new customized boxes for my structure decks. Obviously this is going to be an easier process with Yu-Gi-Oh cards than it is going to be with Pokemon. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll just continue to print the stickers for the Pokemon because, you know, that just looks a thousand percent better. So what are you going to do? I could, I suppose, if I wanted to cut off a picture of Dreadnought here and put it on this box just like I did the Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm not so worried about that. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this. You guys comment below. Let me know what you guys do with structure decks, if anything. I know a lot of people over on Discord, which you should join. There is a link in the description of this video. A lot of people over on the Discord have shown me pictures of the Charizard decks from Vivid Voltage that they've been buying, and that's pretty awesome. Um, but I don't know what they're doing with them, so maybe come over to the Discord today and tell me what you're doing with them. Does anybody collect structure decks like I do? It really does make me happy. It's one of my favorite avenues of trading card game collecting. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. You guys rock. Come back next time. And until next time, guys, peace out.